All right. If you're taking the, uh, if you're going from Salzburg to the Eagle's Nest by bus, um, it's bus 840 out of Salzburg. Um, it runs roughly, I think every hour starts around 6.40 in the morning during the week. Um, so it's about an hour run to Birch's Garden. When you get to Birch's Garden, it's bus 838 up to the documentation centre. So when you get on the bus at Salzburg by a return to the documentation tender centre ticket, it's about 12, 20 euro and you'll need to show that when you get so when the bus 840 gets to Birch's Garden you step off walk straight to bus 838 it's right next to it five meters away um, and you'll need to show that ticket to get on that bus there 838 that bus coincides with bus 840 it's a connection type bus and they're about every hour so you then take bus 838 up to the documentation center it's about 15 minutes something like that when you get up there, it can be a little bit confusing. What you need to do is, where you get off the bus, you can't see the ticket office or the documentation centre. So what you need to do is, you get off the bus, sort of about over there. You need to walk down those stairs and across this car park to where I am. So across this car park. Then there's a set of stairs that take you down to what looks like a bunker it is actually the documentation centre where you buy tickets just there and there are the buses so you can't see that till you get right over here so just make sure when you're coming from over there across the car park to here don't go to that building over there okay and you can see just there, that's the bus um, stop to go back. So, um, yeah, so that's how you get here. Once you get here, you go down, buy a ticket, buy a return tickets. I think the buses leave here. What they do, when they print your ticket, um, I haven't got it on me now because they take it, it gives you a time that the bus will leave and a bus number. I think there's about six buses here at the moment. So just because the bus is about to leave doesn't mean you're on it. Check the time. That your bus leaves it's usually 15 20 minutes after you buy the ticket so and it might say bus one two three four so that's the bus you get on if you try and get on another one they won't let you on the standard ticket on that also has sorry on that also has the return journey from the eagle's nest um, and it's usually a standard two hour stay up there it'll give you a time and a bus number to come back down so when your bus is due, you get on, you go up to the Eagle's Nest, you go up to the car park there, you then um, get out of your bus, pretty easy, walk through a tunnel, up the elevator and get the Eagle's Nest. Um, taking note of what time you need to be back down in that car park to catch a bus back down to the documentation centre. The buses that run up there aren't public buses, they're private buses on the documentation centre. Um, yeah, just sorry, the bus just came. Just be aware of your times with your connection times from Salzburg and all that. I got back down here to the um, bus stop. I came down a bit early. They let me on a bus, not the 12, that was due to come down at 12.12. 12. I came down on a 11.41. The bus wasn't full, they let me get on. I'm trying to catch the bus down here at the documentation centre back to Birch's Garden, but I missed it. And so it's nearly an hour wait. Um, so, it was, which isn't too far away, I'm going to head back to the bus stop shortly. But just be aware of your connection times. Um, a little clue is, I, I thought, oh, if I get here early, that'll be good. I'll um, save the crowds. And I didn't actually get here early, I was later. Um, but the crowds were all right up there. Because you have to return at a certain time, you can't stay up there. So it turns over the crowds as well. Another thing too, if you're going up... The, to the Eagle's Nest purely for an historical war um, visit like I was you might be a little bit disappointed because it is now a restaurant so it is basically a private restaurant so other than uh, you look in you see the fireplace you see the Sun Terrace it other than that it's a restaurant you can you, you look but there's nothing to see um, there's a few photos and stuff to tea on the Sun Terrace but 
there's really nothing that much to see other than the views from up there. The views from up there are absolutely stunning, they are spectacular. So if you're going to go, I was overwhelmed by the views more so than the historical side of it. Absolutely worth a, worth the uh, visit. Um, at 26 degrees, still snow on the ground up there, couldn't have been better. Look at the sky, absolutely beautiful. If you look over there, you can see snow on the mountains. You know, it's absolutely fantastic. But um, yeah, so definitely worth a visit. Even if you're not, if you're not historical, a war historian, still come there because the views are just absolutely fantastic. Hope that helps. Just want to add that to the video. Um, where you get dropped off with the bus is just there, right there. Where the tickets are, uh, you go is over there. So I've been here about 10 minutes and at least a dozen people have asked me where the tickets are. There's some people just here, right now, absolutely confused. But it's so poorly marked that that's where they are, where those flags are, over there. That's where you need to go.